what's going on guys knife addiction 1890 here coming to you with another review today's review is going to be on a kershaw emerson cqc 6k so i'll give you guys a 360 view on this thing and then we will go into the knife review now this does look insanely like an emerson uh basically because er ernest emerson is the one that designed this thing and i'm really glad that they that kershaw uh did a collaboration with ernest emerson to get um Emerson knives into Kershaw get a better price point because I definitely think that the price point on the regular Emerson are ridiculous and I would never spend uh, the money for what they're giving out uh, the appeal of the knife is really not that great what I'm used to I don't see oh man I gotta have that you know kind of feel to it you know because it's just it's not that appealing of a knife I like the wave feature it does work very well the thumb disc is something I'm not used to, but I definitely dig. I'm, I might buy some thumb disc for other knives that I have. I think it's really cool. Um, but as an overall Emerson fan, not a fan of it. Now, I will buy these all day because they are very comfortable in the hand. I wish it was a little bit bigger, but ergonomics is very, very nice. Love the G10. It's very grippy on that side. I'm, I'm not 100% sure what this side is. I'm pretty sure it's some kind of stainless steel. Um, but... Overall, very comfortable in the hand and very grippy with that aggressive jumping up here with the uh, thumb ramp or the uh, wave feature. Very comfortable in the hand, very grippy, so it definitely does have some features that I like about knives, but as an overall Emerson fan, I am not. Um, smoothness and deployment, um, it's a lot harder to get uh, your thumb underneath that thumb disc than a th uh, thumb stud. But it still flicks out. It didn't flick out when I first got it. I was really surprised I had to open it up like this. But now it's uh, getting smoother as I carried it. And flicking out really nicely. Blade play is non-existent on this thing. Hopefully it stays that way. Lockup is not too bad at all. About 50%. And the centering on this guy is round about perfect. So not too bad of an eye for the price point. I think I paid like 35 bucks for this or something like that. Go check them out. They have a bunch of different models on uh, the Emerson knives for Kershaw, definitely check one of these things out. For the price point, you really can't beat it, especially if you wanna get the feel of an Emerson knife and you're in the same boat I am where you don't know why their price points are so insane and you don't wanna spend that, you can just spend 40 bucks and, and get like a Kershaw Emerson. So definitely would recommend getting one of these things if you're in the same boat as I am. But anyway, let's get into some specifications on this thing. Overall length is seven and three quarter, blade length is three and a quarter, and the blade steel is 8CR14 MOV steel. Now I have had uh, 8CR14 MOV steel, it is a Chinese steel, on my Spydercos and they've lasted quite a bit for what I use them for. So it's not a bad steel in my eyes. Um, we got a clip point style blade on there with the stonewash finish, which is really nice. I absolutely love stonewash finish. Uh, the handle material is G10 and on the other side, I'm not 100% sure. It, most likely a stainless steel for the weight that's on this thing uh, for how little it is it's pretty heavy the weight on it is 5.01 ounces so it pretty sure that's stainless steel on this side and g10 on that side right hand left hand carry only with tip up carry only so you can't flip up that thing around but you can flip it around uh the pocket clip to this side if that's what you want to do thumb disc opener with the frame lock so definitely not a bad knife but um as i said i'm not a huge emerson fan but Overall, for this knife, it is definitely not bad for the price point. I definitely would recommend picking one of these things up. But as always, guys, I thank you guys for watching. And don't forget to hit that like button, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.